Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. I am now going to answer a question from C12, January 2014, IAL. Uh, question number 14, and it tells us um, that you have a, a part of a line L uh, with equation y equals 2x minus 3, and a curve with equation y equals x squared minus 2x minus 15. The line and the curve intersect at the points A and B, okay, as you can see here points A and B. Um, the question tells us to use algebra to find the coordinates of A and the coordinates of B. So this is basically a question where you have to solve this pair of equations simultaneously. Okay, so you have to solve this pair of equations simultaneously. You have to find the value of X and Y which satisfies both equations. That's where you're going to find out where they intersect. They intersect where both equations are satisfied together simultaneously. That's what we're trying to do here. Okay? So now, let's go ahead and, and do that. When you have a quadratic and a linear equation together, okay, and you want to solve them simultaneously, you have to do the following. You've got y equals x squared y equals x squared minus 2x minus 15. Not y squared. What does it put y squared for? Okay, and you've got um, y equals 2x minus 3. y equals 2x minus 3. Now, to solve this equation simultaneously, there's a number of ways you can do it. When it's something that's... Um, where they're both expressed as y equals, you can just make them both equal to each other. Okay, I can basically replace the y in this equation or in this equation with whatever is in the other equation. So, for example, I can, exp I can change this y with x squared minus 2x minus 15. So this y can be replaced with x squared minus 2x minus 15 because they're equal to each other. y is equal to that and y is equal to that. Okay, or you can think about it, if they're both expressed as y equals, okay, they're going to be um, intersecting when they're both the same. So when x squared minus 2x minus 15 is equal to 2x minus 3. So solving this equation will help us find the values of x and y which satisfy both of them. And there's going to be two values. There's going to be two places, two coordinates where they intersect, a and b. Okay, so first of all, when we're solving an equation in this form, okay, you must try to make it say equals zero because we're going to try to factorize it first. That's the first strategy. So we're going to bring everything to this left side of the equation. So you've got x squared, and here you've got minus 2x, and here you've got 2x. I have to subtract 2x from both sides, so I'm going to have minus 4x. I have minus 15, minus 3 on this side. I have to add 3 to both sides, so I end up with negative 12. Minus 15 plus 3 is 12. Now I've got it in the form where I can try to factorize. It's a simple type of factorizing. You've just got 1x squared. So straight away, two brackets, two numbers multiplied to give you 12. And the difference between them is 4. Why difference? Because it's a, it's a, the, the product is negative. So negative 12 product and negative 4 sum. So they have to have different signs if they have a negative product. And the, number, the numbers must multiply to give you 12. And the difference must be 4. Well, it's 6 and 2. And it must be negative 6 because you're going to have a, a negative sum here. You're going to have 2 minus 6 is negative 4, and 2 times minus 6 is negative 12. So then I can say x is equal to negative 2, and x is equal to 6. Now, so we've got the, the x values. Now we can use this equation to find the y value. So we say when x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to 2 times negative 2 uh, minus 3. Minus 3. Okay, that gives you minus 4, minus 3, which is minus 7. So that's one pair of coordinates, negative 2, negative 7. Okay, which you can see hopefully is going to be in the right area. That looks, that looks right. It's negative on both sides. And then we have when x is equal to 6. Now when x is equal to 6, y is equal to 2 times negative 6, neg minus 3. Why? Because we know that y equals 2x minus 3. Okay, so y equals 2 times minus 6 minus 3. So that's minus 12 minus 3, which is negative 15. So when x equals 6, 
uh, y is equal to negative. Sorry, that's a mistake. It's a positive 6. So that's going to be 2 sixes are 12, minus 3, which is 9. It's actually 9. So we got the value of x and y are going to be when x equals 6, y is equal to 9. Okay, 6 and 9. Okay, be careful about your sign, see? 6 and 9, that looks just right. So if we had, um, by mistake, put negative 6, we would have realized we'd done something wrong because our our coordinates would be all, all wrong. They'd be down here somewhere. You can see from the diagram that B has to be in the positive side for both X and Y. Okay? So that's something that can help us in case we make a silly mistake like that. Okay? So you have 2 times 6, which is 12, minus 3, which is 9. So 6 and 9 is the, is the other coordinate. So we have the coordinates of A and B. We can label them according to the graph given. A must be the one that we found first, and B is the one we found second. So there we have part A completed for this question. Use algebra to find the coordinates of A and the coordinates of B. And I'm going to go on to part B in the next part of this video. Um, so keep your eyes peeled. Thank you for watching.